Hey there, my name is Melina Dixon. I'm an independent consultant and manager with Pink Zebra Home. And this is my Week in My Shoes series where I walk you through a week's worth of my activities, things that I did in the past week for my Pink Zebra business. So this week runs Sunday, January 10th through Saturday, January 16th. All right, on the 10th, I met up with a customer um, there was an item that went out of stock after, um, or I guess when I closed her party in December, so I needed to get that item to the customer, so I took care of that. I checked in with a party host for an upcoming party just to see how things were going, if she needed anything from me and how the headcount was coming, and then I also checked in with one of my potential team members. The next day was Monday, the 11th. I woke up that morning about 5, 5.30, and in my inbox, there was a joining special. And the way this joining special worked was everyone who joined within the set time frame purchased their kit at full price, but based on when you joined, you were eligible for a rebate. And, or a refund and the earlier you joined the better the refund so I ended up checking or I checked in with a couple of my potential team members that day um, that morning and added two team members so that's exciting I also worked on my 2016 goals I'll tell you more about that shortly and then I checked in with a customer um, I had invited her to our spring product reveal rally and she's not able to come, but we talked a little bit about her hosting a party in February so that she has an opportunity to see all the new products. Plus she can invite some girlfriends and earn some free and half price items. All right, Tuesday, January 12th, I checked in with a customer of mine. I actually needed to get a jar of sprinkles to her. She won them as a prize um, during a giveaway that I did in December. So I checked in with her to find out when we could get together. And then I attended our leadership webinar at eight o'clock that night. And that's something they do once a month. Our home office puts it together and they do recognition, they do training. And I was actually number 13 in sales for December, which is really exciting. So I shared that on my Facebook page for my friends and family to see and celebrate with me. Wednesday the 13th I checked in with my hostess again. Her party was on Friday the 15th and um, after she told me about her headcount and that she had someone who wanted to have a party in February plus she wanted to do another party herself with her co-workers I suggested that she may as well just go ahead and join. Um, my team. She had been thinking about it but wasn't sure that she could do it but I shared with her our joining special and she went ahead and joined. So um, yeah I added three team members this past week which is crazy. I've, I don't think I've ever added three in a week before so that was exciting. I also worked on some um, prep for my team meeting. Thursday the 14th I only worked half a day at my full-time job. I worked Monday through Friday and um, I had some house related things that we had to take care of that afternoon. So I just worked till 12. I also had my team meeting that night and I periscoped it. So my intention was that anyone on my team, whether um, if they are local but couldn't attend or if they are out of town, they all have the opportunity to get all of the training that I gave and if they were available uh, during the meeting but just couldn't make it to my house, they could watch live, which is still really cool. So um, I always say like, no zebra left behind. <laughs> so I try to make sure that even if they can't be at the meeting, they're still getting the information. All right, so Friday the 15th, that is when I had my party It ended up being my new team members launch party and um, one thing that I took away from that party was just how much she 
I guess, knew about the products or remembered from the party that she attended. So there were definitely portions of the party where I didn't even need to be there. She could have totally done it without me. But I'm glad I got to do that for her. That's my goal with my new team members. Um, you know, I'd like to be able to do their, their first party for them if it's geographically possible or if, you know, it works out with everyone's schedule. So took care of that. And she's she's good to go. She's going to be fine without me. Um, and then Saturday the 16th, I ended up meeting with my customer who I needed to get the jar to. But that morning, she messaged me and asked if I could bring her a catalog and some samples. She thinks she found a new customer for me. So that's really exciting. So the tip I'll give you with that is just be really good to your customers because they, if they love Pink Zebra, they're going to talk about it to other people. And that opens the door for a lot of opportunities for you. So I try really hard to be good to my customers. Now, back to... Um, the goals that I was talking about. So something that we, um, well, we did this last year and I'm doing it again. I am writing all my goals down on a piece of cardstock and I'm gluing it to a clothespin. And then I have this little bucket and I clip all the clothespins around. And then when I accomplish that goal, I can take the clothespin off and throw it in the bucket. So then at the end of the year, I can look at everything in the bucket and see what what was a goal or what were the goals that I accomplished? So, hold on, I gotta get some water. Talking makes me thirsty. Anyways, so I'm a very, very visual person. So you can do vision boards or dream boards or, you know, there's all sorts of different things with goal posters, but I like, I'm visual and I like a to-do list. So, this bucket that I'm going to have is my visual to-do list. It's very easy for me to just pull that clothespin off and pop, you know, plop it in the bucket. And that's like me checking it off my list, but you know, in a more fun way. So that's it for my week. I hope this was helpful and I look forward to making many more videos for you. I'm going to try my hardest and do this every single week in 2016 so whew, that's a lot of videos but i appreciate you guys watching if you're not currently subscribing to my channel please click the red subscribe button below and also feel free to ask questions i'd love to answer them for you thanks so much and have a great day